Imagine a piece of trash gathering dust in your attic being worth thousands of dollars. That happens, especially on TV programs like Antique Roadshow. They travel the country appraising heirlooms. Well, today, after many years away, the Antique Roadshow is back in Austin, taping several episodes at the convention center that drew quite a crowd. Well, let me take a look at your uniform here. Some 6,000 lucky folks were chosen by lottery to be appraised at today's show. They brought some 10,000 objects, oh, yeah, look at that. large and small, old or historic, worth a lot or a little. You never know. And the host says there's no precise rule of thumb. While we put an estimate of value today in this market, which changes like an hour later, it's subjective. Value is what the owner feels and what the buyer wants. The Antique Roadshow hasn't been here in 14 years. The show and the city have grown in that time. In all, 90 appraisals were taped for three broadcasts. And the producer says whatever folks are told by the experts, they can get pretty passionate. These are emotional times. Our objects have stories. And by the way, no matter what they're worth, people don't sell them, no matter what we tell them pretty much because that emotional attachment is so, so strong. Many are very personal items, many historic, like this antique stained glass honoring our Texas founders, damaged in a Sam Houston State fire and lovingly restored. Producers expected a lot of Texas stuff, native jewelry, anything to do with blue bonnets, and lots of guns. One family drove in from Louisiana with an antique planes rifle. It was really funny because when we got the rifle out of the car, my wife says, are you sure you can walk down the street with that? And then she thinks and goes, it's Texas. Yeah, we got away with it.